Yo, this is Christian and today a new portfolio review, unfortunately for me, because I have to see the same things over and over again. But I guess with this portfolio review, I'm going to show you again what's not good uh, and maybe I'm going to show you something that's good. Okay, so you can learn a few things here and there, but uh, mainly the bad things because that's the situation you can't do much and I hope that if you see this you'll be able to kind of understand why you don't get interviews or why you get rejected or why you are living a living hell I guess while you're going through this journey especially uh, this is actually more it happens more with bootcamp grads from what I've seen and it's interesting because as a bootcamp grad when you finish you are sent to the job market so basically they tell you hey now go for it okay so they at least a bootcamp grab grad is going for it while a self-taught developer is kind of clinging around uh, in in the tutorial space and they are building stuff building stuff and they are never being told hey go out there and see what's there for you bootcamp grads have this extra thing that i have noticed okay and uh, they're going for it they are finished their bootcamp and then they go three months four months, six months, one year, and they're applying for jobs and they never hear back or they get rejected or whatever. And I want to show you why they get rejected because that's pretty important, okay? If you know why you get rejected, then you can fix that thing so you get less rejections and eventually you land the job, okay? Also, what I want to tell you is that uh, we live in a world of comparisons, okay? So if you finish the bootcamp, you are only going to compare yourself with other bootcamp grads or with other self-taught developers or other junior aspiring junior developers that you see on LinkedIn or on other uh, platforms, right? But if you if you are a recruiter and a bootcamp grad is going to send you a portfolio or a CV, you're going to compare that CV with someone that has five years of experience, okay? So it's always a comparison game. You might have an aunt, aunt, uncle that has a BMW and your mom and dad don't have a BMW. So you might think that your uncle is really cool. But if you compare your uncle with someone that has a Ferrari, your uncle is not that cool anymore, okay? So it's always a matter of comparison and what you compare yourself with, okay? And uh, in this case, uh, I'm going to show you a portfolio review of a bootcamp grad that's been looking for three months for a job. It's been uh, enduring rejections and uh, I'm gonna show you what he does wrong in my opinion at least and then you can take these ideas and see what you can do for yourself if you can all right so let's get started all right so let's get into this first of all I know uh, Jamie here is he has a knife for design okay so he knows how things should look okay so let's keep that in mind as we are going through this 3D artist, focus on the user experience to dive deep into the details in order to help them achieve their dreams for the applications I build to ensure dynamic experience full of clean code. I don't know, but I'm not a native English speaker, so this sentence doesn't really mean anything to me. Uh, if you guys have this percentage thingy going on, don't do it. It doesn't make any sense. Like 97%, uh, like what does it mean to be a 100% competency in HTML or in CSS or in JavaScript? Are you really at 85%? Are you really at 87, 87% in SAS? Are you really at 80% in ReactJS? Are you really at 70% in Node.js? Same with Mongo. How do you compare yourself? Because you've never had a job, you've never been next to other software developers. How are you going to compare yourself with? And don't do that. It doesn't make any sense. These numbers don't make any sense, don't mean anything, and you're better off removing it. Okay, and I'm saying this for everyone, literally. Then I see creative, problem-solving, fast, dynamic. I feel like this is just a filler to make the website bigger, and I would just drop it, okay? Now, if I look into this Climb Time app, uh, which is a React.js application, Let's have a look what's in here. Just a picture. Great. Climb routes. Okay. Uh, can I click on something? No. That's it. That's it. A few pictures. A drop down that says drop down above me. A squished picture. And his LinkedIn. All right. Climb time is open source. Let's have a look. In here, 
14 months ago. Last commit, I guess. Uh, and a few components here and there. Again, not even using React Router, probably. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there is some React Router. I hate this indentation. Um, yeah, so first issue with this portfolio application, the application is very simple, just a few uh, routes. The thing is, it doesn't even have like a specific route for a specific item, right? So if I open this thing once again, and it takes a bit of time. Okay. What I would do is I would have this thing as a card without the picture. And then I would click on this and I'll go to slash butter milks or something like that. And then on that page, I would fetch specific information for this climb, I guess, or for this route or whatever uh, this thing is called. Okay, so I would do something like that. So, because in a real world, you'd be using dynamic routes. Okay, so if I give you ex an example with uh, what my students are making, again, you have like your home page, then you have your portfolio page, let's say, but then you also have like slash coin slash Bitcoin or slash coin slash Ethereum, right? So this is like a dynamic page. You need something like this in your application because it's part of the job. You have to make something like this. But here, as you can see, this is uh, non-existent. And I don't want to talk about like the design again because I'm just repeating myself. It looks like it's been made in 2002 once again. And here's the deal. As I said, it's a matter of comparisons. So let's say you have, there is a job post, okay? We need a front-end developer with experience in React, Redux, style components, React Router, SAS, and some other random technology, let's say charges, high charts, AM charts, it doesn't even matter, okay? And then there are three people applying for this, okay? There is Jamie with this thing. That's his only work that he has. And then there is, let's say me, and another girl, okay? This girl has six years experience. She worked for three companies, okay? Two years at each company. And I have worked for like four companies or something like that, okay? I've been a job hopper. The recruiter can click on that girl's links and then she can see where this girl worked. She can click on my links. The recruiter can see where I worked, the design of the landing page of the company or whatever. Maybe I have been working on, a, on an application where the recruiter can interact with, okay? If you go on, on my LinkedIn, you can see some of the front-facing apps that I have built that you can actually use. Most of the applications that I have built are under NDA. I cannot take pictures of them. I cannot record them. I cannot give technical details, you know, about them in public. But there is something that you can see. The same with this girl. And then you have Jamie as well with this. Okay, so now the recruiter is gonna say, okay, I have Jamie, I have Christian, and I have Susan. Now, when I look at Jamie compared with Christian, Jamie doesn't have any experience. It looks like Jamie is kind of stuck in 2002, okay, with this picture here, with this landing page. The same if I compare Jamie with Susan. Now I have only Christian and Susan. Now let's compare these two. Maybe the recruiter likes both of us. So then we'll both go for an interview and then we'll see if we are uh, the right fit from a technical point of view, okay? Let's say we are both technically good for the role. Now what the recruiter or what the company that's looking to hire will do is gonna see, would we like to work with Christian or with Susan Moore? So there will be like, um, there will be a question of if we are a team fit, okay? So then they will choose one of us, but Jamie is already out of the equation, okay? They will say something like, we decided to proceed with someone else. And what I'm trying to say and show you in these portfolio reviews is that the reason why you don't have any chance in the first place is because of the way your apps look, okay? If you fix that, and if you get out of this 2002 mentality that most people have, like I can show you another one, I can, I have here, let's say, I have this one, another bootcamp brat, right? It looks absolutely terrible. 
So when a recruiter sees this, will the recruiter go with Joseph or with Christian? With Christian, obviously. Or will the recruiter go with Joseph or with Christian student? Okay, let's say it's a junior job and just juniors are applying. Obviously, the recruiter is gonna give a chance to my student compared with Joseph, because Joseph is stuck in 2002. Now, if I have more here, I have more things, I have more. Another bootcamp grad, Adam. Again, I'm looking at this. It's another crypto app, similar to what my student did. So this is the difference between someone that's a professional, because you have to be a professional. You, like no one is gonna give you any slack for being a junior. That's what you need to understand. There is no like mercy, let's say, because people are paying money for you, are giving you money, and they want to see the fruit of that investment because you are an investment okay every single person that a company is hiring is like an investment okay that's how they see hiring someone okay it's like every single person is like an asset for a company and you have to be that asset that delivers now adam is all gonna be stuck i think he's stuck since 2019 trying to find a job working a nasty job i guess because he doesn't have the skills. He cannot demonstrate the skills. It doesn't matter how passionate he is. It doesn't matter how excited he is to be in the web dev industry. It doesn't matter because he says something and then he shows something else. Okay, so it's important to talk the talk and walk the walk. Okay, that's gonna bring you that first dev role. And you know, I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. But again, I compare everyone that's not working with me with the people that are working with me and then I can see the difference. I can spot the difference. You might want to take a screenshot of this and then you might want to attempt this, but it's going to be pretty much impossible because there is a specific structure that is being used here. And the structure is very similar to what I did at work at my previous companies, okay? I'm not trying to FOMO you into anything. You can make your own decisions, but if you have these two crypto apps they are pretty much doing the same thing and you are a recruiter who would you rather choose this or this or this who would you rather choose this this or this 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 or this that's the question that you have to ask yourself okay and i'm gonna ask you another question what would you do if you couldn't fail okay if you listen to your instincts and you've been doing this for a long time maybe maybe six months, maybe nine months, maybe one year, and you've been working hard at this thing, okay? You really want to make a career change. You're not fucking around, okay? You really want to make a career change and you've been working hard and you've been busting your ass, but you know there is something missing and you can't, you don't understand what that thing is. The reason why you don't understand is because you don't have that perspective. And now put yourself in that position if you close your eyes and think about, if I would have this missing piece that will make the whole puzzle look complete, where would I be in six months from now? In one year, in two years? In two years, you'll be in that position where you'll be making 100 grand a year. But if you keep doing this, and if you keep building stuff like this, you'll be in the same position where you are right now. Okay, it's already the end of January. I don't even know when you'll see this uh, video, but if you look back at what you've done this month, probably there is not that much progress, while others have made tremendous progress so far because they have a framework, feedback, they know exactly what they have to do and they just do it. They show up, they work hard and they ask questions and they listen. That's your portfolio review. I hope you liked it. If you did, leave a comment on this video, subscribe. And if you wanna work with me and you wanna stop doing stuff like this and you wanna do stuff like this, then apply for a free consultation call and then I'm going to show you how to get really good at code really, really fast so you can actually land that first dev job, okay? So you don't waste your time, so you don't waste money, really. It's called cost of opportunity every single month where you are not a developer, you are losing money, you are bleeding money. I don't want to get into that, probably you know the numbers. If you are making 40 grand and let's say you aim for 60 grand, you are losing 20 grand a year, an extra 20 grand, what can you do with that? Or let's say you're making 40, and you can get 80, an extra 40 grand. What can you do with that? I don't know, I don't know. What can you do with an extra 40 grand in your pockets? I know what I would do, but then I'll be banned from YouTube. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.